the AMI's purpose is actually for certification of marketers, and that's via the Certified Practicing Marketer Program. And that's our main overarching vision. My personal vision is I look after the accreditation board, and our vision is to actually accredit, endorse, and recognise educational institutions in Australia, with our main focus being providing a, a safe place for students to study where they're actually also taught by professionals. And this is really important because what it means is that students can go into these educational institutions, whether it's a university or a private college, and they know the education they're getting is actually up to date, it's current, and it's delivered by specialists in the industry. Students are really concerned about, in essence, getting a job when they finish their education. And by having this program in place for these institutions, it provides a peace of mind not only for the students, but also for the parents and also the institution that the quality of graduates coming through into industry is at the top of its level. I've always been passionate about marketing, even when I was young and went to university the first time I, I studied building and construction. And I never really had a passion for it. I actually chose it because everyone else I knew was in that industry. And I realised that by going back and actually studying business at university, it's something that I was really passionate about. And I worked out my passion because I was happy to actually give back and do things for free, which back in those days was unheard of. So I joined the AMI as a student member while I was currently in university. And from that, I, my passion for the industry just grew. So the reason I'm part of the AMI is because I really just want to give back to the industry that has, for me, always put a smile on my face. And I say to my students, if you can find something that you actually love doing, this idea of work-life balance disappears and everything just merges into one. And you're actually really happy doing whatever it is that you actually want to do. So for me, it's always been a passion because it's never felt like a job. What I bring to the AMI is as Chair of the Accreditation Committee, I've been a university lecturer for nearly 20 years now. And across different universities in Australia and also having taught in Shanghai, what I really bring is a strong knowledge of theory that can actually be backed up by a practical application through my consulting company. And it gives me a different lens. So by this, it means that I can look at the current thinking in the industry, bring this back into the AMI, where we can actually then apply it at board level. And the strong links back to both the educational sector and the corporate sector give me a nice holistic view of the industry. So I'm going to answer this question in two parts. First, I'll use statistics. So we did research with the CMO white paper, and what they actually found is that 76% of the industry really wants marketers to focus on this idea of data analytics and being able to report the data back up into the corporation. And I think this is extremely important. In the current age of technology, I think we'll be there very quickly. I don't see this being an issue at all. The next issue is, we had 46% of content creation and curation. And again, in the age of social media, I think the ability for a market to be able to take the information from multiple points from both also the company and also now our customers and curating that content and blending it together is extremely important. 36% was customer design experience. The fact that a customer can go onto your website or deal with your corporation and actually have not just a, an experience that is okay, but an experience that exceeds expectations and just blows them away. So that's the first part. In regards to marketing being a cost center, I actually look at us quite differently. I think we're actually, if you look at just normal business strategy, because we're actually a provider of the strategy to help sales and sales being revenue minus the cost, we are actually in a profit center because every other center generally is a cost center. So for marketing working together with sales, and I think we definitely do work together, and providing the right strategy for corporations and hitting the right target market through the marketing strategy, we actually then bring money into the corporation. And this is really important. So once we start to communicate this at the board level, we can actually then get a stronger seat at the board level. I think we, we need to definitely work together as corporations and as directors, and we are starting to move away from a very 
bureaucratic type of mindset into a post-bureaucratic type of mindset, we're actually now helping our employees from all walks of life and in all sections of the industry in our corporation actually be able to provide a link into the strategy. Yes, the strategy still comes from the top of the tree and that's part of the role of the CEO and the board of directors. But are we a cost centre? I think we actually bring the profits in.